Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a experience slash blog of the Ricky and Shelby meet and greet that I went to yesterday in Alabama. I went with my friend Alex and she's already been in a couple of my videos so you might recognize her. But we basically drove for like three and a half hours to Hoover, Alabama. I finally begged my dad to take us. It was supposed to start at three. So we left Sunday morning around 11 and just drove to Alabama. And we got there around 3 o'clock, but they ended up being a little bit late because they were trying to upload Ricky's video, but it was all good. What I thought was really annoying was right when Ricky and Shelby like started to walk up, people started chasing them. Because like before they got there, everyone was just spread out because it was at this big park. And right when they saw Ricky walking up there, they started screaming and running towards him. And I'm like, seriously, give Ricky some space. Everyone eventually formed a line around Ricky, I guess and it started going pretty smoothly. At first it was like crazy and hectic because everyone was like crowded together, but it eventually got sorted into a line and it probably took us about an hour to get through the line, which was, it was crazy. And we were towards the front of the line too, so it was pretty busy actually. I didn't think that many people were gonna show up. When we got to the front of the line, I let Alex go first and so I was like taking her pictures and when I was taking the picture, I was standing there and Ricky was like, oh my gosh, you look so familiar. I met you before, haven't I? And I said, yeah. And I, then I took the pictures of him and Alex, and then he continued our, his conversation with me. And he was like, what's your name again? I keep on forgetting. And I said, Megan. And he's like, oh yeah, aren't you Megan Loves Wendy on Twitter? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that is me. It was cool because, I don't know, he didn't remember my name, which is okay, because JC remembered my name, so that's all that matters. But Ricky freaking remembered my Twitter. Like, how does that even happen? Like, he must stalk me on Twitter to remember my Twitter name. Like, it just got real. I was fangirling, not in front of him, but after I got my pictures with him, which my pictures was just a regular picture. I wanted just a regular picture with him because this is actually the first time I met any of O2L since I got my braces off, which was super cool. So I wanted to get like a normal picture just smiling with him. And then my second picture was me kissing him on the cheek because he's kissed me on the cheek like twice. So I wanted to kiss him on the cheek and it was so cool. Also, when I was talking to Ricky, when I got to the front of the line, I also asked him about the big Pikachu because I was like, oh, I was the one that gave you the big Pikachu. He's like, oh yeah. That's when he told me that the Pikachu was actually at Shelby's house, which I already knew that. But he said that he was going to try to take it back to LA with him. And he said that if he is able to take it back to LA, then it's going to be in some more of his videos, which I'm super excited to see. And yeah, that'd be so, 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 so cool. And then after we got out of the Ricky line, we went in Shelby's line and um, we got pictures of Shelby. And she's like so sweet. I'm not even kidding. And um, we told her to follow us on Twitter, so hopefully she does that, which was so cool. Then I also mentioned to her that I was the one that gave Ricky the huge Pikachu, and she was telling me funny stories about how um, people in her house, like if people come over to her house, they always laugh at the Pikachu and always like say like, what's that doing here? Or when is Ricky gonna take that back to LA with him and stuff like that, so it was really funny. We were gonna get back in the line a second time, but we never really had time to. But we just like chilled right behind him. So I got lots of footage from the meet and group, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And I also vlogged a little bit, not much. And yeah, and when we left, when we left the meet and greet, we went back up to Ricky and we said bye to him. And we got another hug, which was really, really nice. We didn't have to get back in line for that. We just said bye, Ricky, and he gave us a hug. And we both said we loved him, and he said love you too. So it was really cool. He's so nice. And yeah, so I'm just going to get into the footage and all that good stuff now. And then I'll have the pictures at the end. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, so we literally just got to Alabama, and I'm with Alex. We went to the Ricky, the Shicky, oh, bars. <laughs> went to the Shicky meet and greet, and it's we're walking over to it. That's the, oh, it <laughs> looks like nothing. That's all the people. That's where we're walking. But um, we're here, and we're gonna go meet Ricky. It's my fourth time and your third time. Third time. So we're gonna have fun and we'll see you guys soon.
two, three. We love you, Ricky. Oh my God. Love you. <laughs>